Ranger. horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. Just seen the Padre, Tom. You have news? A gang led by a man named Big Jim Folson has been terrorizing the country around San Carlo. Can we go there? No, well, first we'll see the sheriff in the county next to San Carlo. Why would you do that? Padre thinks the lawman in San Carlo can't be trusted, so he's arranged for us to meet the sheriff from Bartonsville. And where will we meet him? He'll be at Stone Canyon in an hour. We'll have to hurry. Sheriff Maloney? That's right. Padre told me not to ask who you are or why you're wearing that mask, but I feel that the Padre's a wise man. If I didn't think so, I wouldn't be here. What I want to know is why you're so interested in the Folsom Gang. I'm interested in anything that threatens the peaceful and lawful development of the West. How much did the Padre tell you? Only that you were having trouble. I'll say we're having trouble. Big Jim Folsom's got the people in this section scared to death. Why don't you arrest him? I can't. The Folsom Gang does a job here, and before I can get my hands on him... They beat it across the border into San Carlo County, out of my jurisdiction. Then the sheriff in San Carlo should take action. You'd think so. But that ornery old buzzard Charlie Gray won't do a thing until they break the law in San Carlo, and Big Jim's too smart to do that. In other words, the gang uses San Carlo as a sort of legal sanctuary. They practically own the place. What about the sheriff? Oh, they probably own him, too. If I knew for certain, I'd call in the Texas Rangers. But I gotta be dead sure before I do a thing like that. You want proof about sheriff? That's right, Engine. The Padre thought you two could get it. Perhaps we can do more than that. Do you know any businessmen in San Carlo that you can trust? Well, there's the banker, Jim Wortham. And Trader Mike, he runs the town store. Good. Will you give me a letter to each of them? And another to the sheriff? Letters won't do any good with an hombre like Big Jim. They will if they're properly used. Tom and I will ride to San Carlo. When we get there, we'll go to see the sheriff. First, we'll find out just where Sheriff Gray stands. See if he's in his office. Two men in office. Both wear badges. One must be a deputy. Then take it plenty easy. I'm going in there the back way and stir them up. You wait outside the window and listen to what they say after I've left. Dad, burn it, Charlie. You're too lucky for me. Well, you shouldn't have played that ace when I had the... What the... Mask. Sheriff, I want to talk to you. I wouldn't reach for that. All right. You've got the drop on us. Draw your gun and put it on the table. You too, deputy. If you're aiming to make trouble for yourself, mister, you're off to a good start. You want to threaten somebody? What about Big Jim Folsom? Jim Folsom? What? Why, was he a friend of yours? No, he isn't. Folsom's a thief and a killer. Maybe he's a friend of yours. Now, see here. The Folsom gang runs loose in this town, and you sit here playing cards. What I do is none of your business. I'm making it my business. You know Sheriff Maloney, don't you? Yeah. Why didn't you cooperate with him when he came here to ask you for help? I keep order in San Carlo County. What happens outside is no concern of mine. Enforcing the law is everyone's concern. The Folsom gang stays here because you make it safe for them to prey on other communities. Well, they've broken no law in San Carlo. I can't help it if I do somewhere else. You can help it if you want to, Sheriff. You can call in the Texas Rangers. Any time there's a crime committed in San Carlo, I'll get the men who committed it. And I'll do it without any help of the Texas Rangers or the likes of you. I'm going to give you a chance to prove that, Sheriff. Well, well how do you mean? You'll find out soon enough. I'll leave your guns outside. Why, that no good sidewinder. Who does he think he is? Come on, let's get him. Wait a minute. What? Come on, let's go after him. Why? He only told the truth. Jim Folsom does run this town. He even runs me. Oh, that ain't so. Oh, I should have jumped him when he first came here. Before he got so powerful. 
He's kept the town peaceful. That's because he controls everything. Why, even if I had a case against him, a jury would be afraid to convict. You know what I'm hoping? What? I'm hoping the masked man goes after Jim Folsom. And I hope he gets him. So that's the story. Gray let things get beyond him. If it wasn't so serious, I'd feel sorry for the fellow. Why, Kim Sabi? Him, bad sheriff. He's no worse than a lot of people who won't stand up against an evil because they think it doesn't affect them personally. And them like man who won't fight prairie fire because it's far away. Exactly, Tonto. Crime anywhere threatens all of us. What we do? I've been mistaken for a bandit so often, I'm going to pose as one. You put on disguise? With the mask, it won't be necessary. I want you to find out where Folsom has his headquarters. But don't let him see you. Me understand. I'll deliver Maloney's letter to Traitor Mike. On the way to town, I'll tell you my plan to trap Folsom. Let's go. Yeah, uh, and give me some of them cigars, the kind the boss likes. Just the kind I neglected to order. Didn't Big Jim tell you to keep them in stock? And who's to be giving Trader Mike orders in his own store? In this town, Big Jim gives everybody orders. And it's to everybody's shame that they're obeyed. No collection of crooks is going to order me around. It's a good thing for you the boss wants everything in this town kept peaceful-like. Jail's peaceful, too. But that don't mean I'd be after liking it. Now, come on, settle up. Get out. Just wait till Big Jim hears about not getting them cigars. Nice work, Trader Mike. I wouldn't reach for that. What do you want? This isn't a hold-up, Trader Mike. Wearing that mask, I suppose you've just come in to pass the time of day. Not exactly. Do you know Sheriff Maloney? Sure. And I'm wishing he was here this minute. Here's a letter from him. Perhaps it'll change your mind about me. I'm doubtful of that. He's as mad as a hatter. Asking me to help you. Just who are you, anyway? Sheriff Maloney trusted me without knowing. I'm asking the same of you. What are you after? I'm trying to rid this town of the Folsom gang. Well, why didn't you say so before? If you had horns and a tail and talked like an orangeman, I'd be after helping you. What can I do? I want these two dollars. Uh, uh, oh, now, wait a minute. I wouldn't want you to lie to the sheriff when you tell him you've been robbed. Huh? San Carlo has been peaceful too long. Perhaps if we start some trouble... The town won't be so complacent about the Folsom gang. So that's your scheme, is it? Give Sheriff Gray my description. Raise as much ruckus as you can. <laughs> I'll holler bloody murder. Then take a deep breath. Start yelling. Help! Murder! I've been robbed! Help! Stop me! I've been... Did you locate his headquarters? Folsom have house on the other side of town. Red house, uh, white shutters. Good. He's about to have a visitor. Wait a few minutes, then follow me. Remember the part you're to play. Uh, me no. You outlaw, me your enemy. My deadly enemy. Good luck, Tonto. Well, Chief, how'd you like it? Scar, you done... I mean, you did all right in Pine Flats. Sure, boss. Whenever you figure out a holdup, it's a cinch. When do we pull off our next job? Clem's over in Wheatonville, sizing up the bank. It maybe needs a little uh, spring cleaning. <laughs> Until I find out, you stay in San Carlo. Look, boss, uh, ain't we being a little uh, wide open about this? Suppose Texas Rangers or a federal man was to show up. As long as you guys behave yourselves in town, the sheriff ain't going to call anybody. Which reminds me, get yourself some decent clothes. Well, what's the matter with what I got on? You look like a bum. Now that I'm a power in the community, you gotta look respectable like. Here. Pete's sakes, Jim. Hey, boss. There's been a holdup. Yeah, I know. Scar just got back. No, in town. Treater Mike's place. What? Yeah, I just come from there. Treater's screaming like a stuck pig. Why, you knucklehead. What did I tell you about pulling anything in town? Oh, you got it all wrong, boss. I didn't have nothing to do with it. I swear I didn't. And who did? Treater said it was a big fella toting two guns and wearing a mask. All the dirty rotten. If the folks in town think he's one of our gang, we're in trouble. Well, where are you going? Well, you've got too good a setup here to have it wrecked by some tin horn bandit. I'm going to see. Reach half, Olson. You're not going anywhere. What's the idea? For a change, you're on the wrong end of a holdup. 
The first man that goes for his gun gets hurt. Ow! Why, you, you about broke my hand, you dirty lowdown. I said the first man that goes for his gun would get hurt. That goes for the second and third man. Now, who's going to be next? That's better. Now, put your gun on the table. Now, back up against the wall. You're going to be sorry about this, stranger. I'm going to be too rich to be sorry. That about does it, my friends. I appreciate your collecting this for me. Uh, let's be reasonable, fella. There's a lot more where that came from. How about working with... No, thanks. If I need any more, I'll pay you another call. Adios. Go after him, man. Go after him, man. Get up, you clumsy fools. Go after him. Are you all right, Injun? Me all right. Well, thanks for saving my money. Why didn't you shoot instead of jumping him? He want masked man alive, not dead. You know him? Me owe him plenty. Someday me catch him alive. A little Indian torture, eh? Me trail him long time. Yeah, I know what you mean. I got a little dress to settle with that hombre myself. It's no use, boss. He must have run off our horses before he come in. That's the glute that held up Trader Mike's. Well, he didn't get anything from us. How'd you like to go to work for me, Injun? Me trail masked man. Yeah, I know. But I got a hunch we haven't seen the last of him. When he does show up, we can both... I wouldn't make any noise if I were you, Mr. Wortham. What? Who are you? I'm not a bank robber, as you probably think. Well, how... How'd you get in here? I'm sorry if I startled you. But this meeting has to be kept secret. I want to talk to you about Big Jim Folsom. Oh, I might have known that. Well, you can go back and tell that boss of yours that I'm not going to do anything to you. I'm not one of Folsom's men. I don't care who you are. You're not going to rob my bank. What if I told you I was working with Sheriff Maloney? Maloney? What's John got to do with this? This letter will answer that. Sheriff Maloney and I want to rid this country of the Folsom gang. Well, I don't quite understand this, but uh, what can I do to help you? Let me rob your bank. What? Just a token robbery. Like the holdup at Trader Mike's. Oh, so you pull that too, huh? That's right. I'm going to make things so hot in this town that Sheriff Gray will have to do something. Oh, and by having the bank robbed, you figured that public opinion will be so strong that they'll have to crack down on Folsom, huh? Yes, yeah, something like that. Well, I'd hate for my depositors to hear this, but, well, under the circumstances, I'll welcome a robbery. Good. Now open the vault. Oh, is that necessary? Mr. Wortham, you'll have to trust me all the way. Very well. Seems as though you didn't give up without a fight. Well, I'm glad to know that. Now what? I took two dollars from Trader Mike. A banker can afford to double that. Oh, now I understand what you meant when you said a token holdup. There you are. Thanks. Now if you'll sit in the chair. All right. I'll gag you loosely so you can still make some noise. Give the sheriff a good description of me. Demand that he send for the Texas Rangers. Now I'll tie you up. I'm going to shoot my guns off so you raise plenty of commotion. Is that you, Tano? Tai, he must have me have a hard time getting away. Everything all right? Me member of gang now, them think me hate you. What's the reaction to the bank robbery? Townspeople plenty mad. Folsom not like it either. They'll like it less tomorrow when we carry out the rest of our plan. We hope plan work. I think it will. As soon as the town's quiet, I'll talk to the sheriff. You'd better get back now before they miss you. Let me see you tomorrow. At Rimrock Canyon. Be careful. Why don't you hit the hay, Charlie? There's nothing more you can do this hour of the night. I can try to figure this out, can't I? Well... I figure better after a little shut eye. I'm going home. All right. See you in the morning. That is, if this masked man doesn't pull something else before then. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Now what? I suppose there's been another. Good evening, Sheriff. Why you? You know better than that. They're not getting away with this, mister. You can't make a fool of the law in this town. What has Folsom been doing? Well, he hasn't been holding up stores and banks. 
He's been doing a lot worse outside of San Carlo. If you'd run him out of this county, Sheriff Maloney would jail him. Well, I'm more interested in jailing you. It's time we understood one another, Sheriff. Trader Mike and Mr. Wortham agreed to be robbed. Here's the missing money. Two dollars from the store, four from the bank. What are you talking about? Those weren't real holdups. They are part of a plan to trap the Folsom gang. I don't believe you. Here's a letter from Sheriff Maloney that may convince you I'm telling the truth. Why didn't you show me this this morning? I thought you might have been on Folsom's payroll. Well, I reckon I deserved that. I should have jailed him months ago, but, well, it didn't seem important. You know? Now he's so powerful, I can't. I have a plan that may place him in a position where he won't be so powerful. Will you help? Of course I will. You don't think I like being in this spot, do you? No, I don't. Tomorrow morning, go to see Folsom. Tell him that things have gone too far. Now you're at the end of your rope. Good morning, Sheriff. Morning. I'm sort of busy right now, Sheriff. Yeah, well, I'm sort of busy myself. Didn't you say you'd keep things peaceful around here? Well, what about it? Well, things wasn't so peaceful yesterday and last night. If you're talking about that masked hombre, he ain't... He isn't working for me. That isn't the point. People are so fighting mad over these holdups, they want me to call in the Texas Rangers. But you're not going to, are you? Well, well if I don't get that masked man, do you know what he's hiding out? I don't know anything about him. Wait a minute. Suppose that I bring him in for you. You'd be the town hero. But how can you do that if you don't know where he is? Leave that to me. You won't need the Rangers, Sheriff. I'll go after him myself. All right. But I gotta have him by tomorrow. You'll get him. Engine, last night you said you could trail this masked hombre. Here's a chance to prove it. Let uh, me go after him? We'll all go after him. You mean all of us are going after one man? Sure. He's poisoned fast on the draw, and I'm not taking chances. Uh, you circle around town, Injun, pick up his trail. As soon as I climb out of these fancy duds, I'll be ready to start. It's about time. What took you so long? In the trail, hard to find. But you found it, didn't you? Ah, uh, me find. Good. Scar, you and the Injun go on ahead. Link and Clem will ride behind with me. Why we split up? Look, Injun, I'll take care of running the outfit. Now get going. You too, Scar. All right, boss. What's the deal, boss? Don't you trust the engine? Sure, I trust him. But I'm not going to risk getting dry gulps when we're all together. That's smart, boss. Sure it is. Now, let's get moving. Come on, boys. Let's get out. Look. That's his horse, all right. You ride back, tell boss leave horses. Come on foot. Well, what are you going to do? Let me stay here, guard cabin, so that masked man not get away. That's a good idea. You take horse. All right, Angel. Toto. He must have me. Where's Sheriff and Posse? They're not here yet. Gray must have had trouble getting in touch with Sheriff Maloney. That bad. Me trying to slow gang down, but them come fast. There's still four of them? Uh. I want to avoid bloodshed if possible. We'll try to get them inside the cabin. We can keep them pinned there until the posse comes. Suppose posse not come? They will. Sheriff Gray left for Bartonsville after seeing Folsom this morning. The gang, come now. Me get them inside cabin. I'll circle around in back of it. Still inside? Him not come out. Good. We sneak up on cabin and... Get shot trying it. Don't be a fool. And him not see us. Listen, Engine. You did a good job of bringing us here. But I'm doing the planning. Let me show you how to get close to cabin. I'm running this outfit, Engine. And we're not getting any closer than this. What's the scheme, boss? We'll stay covered and make him come out. How are you going to do that? Easy. I'm going to shoot that horse of his. No. What's the matter with you? You not shoot horse. Why not? When the horse goes down, he'll come out fast and we can plug him. And that's not good. Ah, you're crazy. It's a slick idea. Sure it is. With the horse dead, he hasn't got a chance of getting away. I'll get him right between the eyes. All set? We're ready. 
You've gone crazy. You're not you. Nice work, Tonto. You better get their guns. Him try to shoot Silver. His killing days are over. All right, Folsom, get on your feet. Kim Asabi, look. Folsom, you have a date with the law. Get going. Looks like we got here too late. Just in time to make the arrest, Sheriff. I ain't done anything. You can't arrest me, Gray. Maybe I can't. But Sheriff Maloney can. You're crazy. I'm not in his territory. You're wrong, Folsom. Tano led you in a roundabout way to confuse you. You've been out of San Carlo County for the last five miles. Why, the double cross on a red skin, I'll break his... Oh, no, you won't. The only thing you'll do is time. In prison. Take him, Sam. Come on. Other outlaws all not hurt bad. Posse take care of them. Good. Well, gentlemen, with the Folsom gang in your hands, Tano and I will be on our way. We have work to do elsewhere. But there's a reward for these hombres. Seeing them under arrest, Sheriff, is our reward. The Padre was sure right about you. I don't know how to thank you. Don't try. Well, Sheriff Gray, from now on, San Carlos should have real peace. Well, I know it'll have a better sheriff. Goodbye and thanks. Adios. Whoever he is, he sure taught me a lesson. We can all learn a lot from the masked man. He's the greatest champion of law and order in the West. Yeah, well, who is he? I didn't know myself till the Padre told me. He's the Lone Ranger. Hello,